Hi folks and welcome back to Fishing with Dan. Well today I'm going to show you how to make your own homemade pole pot and it's either going to be really cheap or absolutely free depending on how you do it and I'll explain that in a second. But we're going to be making it with the help of one of these, an easter egg. So no we're not going to be making a chocolate pole pot. Um, what we are going to do is we're going to open up this Easter egg and we're going to take out, let's put this on one side, this which is what we call a kinder pot or a kinder egg, sorry from a kinder egg this is a kinder pot. Now for those of you who've been doing this old fishing game for quite some time you'll know that uh, back in the day before we got all these massive different varieties of manufactured pole pots we used to use a kinder pot and the way it can be free or if not free very cheap is if you've got children you give them these kinder surprise eggs um, for Easter and if you've got grandchildren the same thing applies. Now of course if you haven't got either of those you can always pay the money and eat the Easter egg yourself but if you've got kids or grandchildren give them the Easter eggs let them eat that they can then take out the toys from inside they come with these different uh, toy things in it. You don't need those and quite often they'll throw this away which means you get it for free. So, Kinder Pot then. As you can see it's a great size for a pole pot. And what I've done, if I show you one that I did earlier in good Blue Peter fashion, is I've drilled, if I get right up close there, there you go, there's a four millimeter hole on either side. Now be careful because when you pop this open like that you'll see there's a hinge there and that hinge is actually a strip that goes all the way down to the bottom and that's a weak point. So I put the holes on either side of there. Now as I say I've, I've just used a, a four millimeter drill bit to do this but you can do it with if you've got a soldering iron do it with that. Some people just heat up a nail and just push that through. If you're going to do the, the heated side of things, make sure you're in a, a really well vent ventilated area simply because this probably gives off all kinds of noxious fumes and you don't want to be breathing them in. So once you've got your uh, Kinder Pop sorted out and you've got the holes on the bottom, all you need is some elastic, either an offcut from uh, some poles you've just uh, elasticated or in this case this is some Preston Hollow I've had for a long long time. And again, all we do, I'll open that up, I'll put the elastic through one side and trying to get it through the other side this way is quite difficult. So the easy way to do it is to put it in, just pull it out through the top and then arthritic hands permitting, push it through the hole at the bottom and that's it. So all you've got is that. Keep the holes fairly close to the bottom but not necessarily touching it. Now all we're going to do is we're going to create what always used to be called a reef knot. It's kind of like the tying your shoelaces knot. So turn that around like that and create a loop. Take it over. Just pull it so it's not tight but just drawn down. Same thing again around and over and you've got that. Now if you do this right this will be tightish, but not too tight. And you'll see why in a second. I'm going to just uh, wet this. So pull it down, making sure that it's a little bit tight. So you can pull it back a little bit that way. There's a little bit of give to start off with. That's it. So if I now pull that really tight and that one, and there we are. Take a pair of scissors. Cut off the ends, that's one, and two, and now we've got our pole pot. So let me show you now how to put this onto a pole. I'll put the lid back on for this. You can take the lid off, but again, I'll explain more about that in a second. 
So I'll try and do this sort of backwards a bit. Offer it up to the pole and literally just pull over and that's it. Okay, that is not going anywhere. Okay, it won't go that way. What you can do obviously is you can put it further up. It's whatever your preference is. I've just put it further back just to help me to do it. Now, as I say, generally what happens is people just take off the wrong one, <laughs> take off the top and just use the Kinder Pot so it sits just like that and it's an open pot. But if you want to, you can take the top and drill using a spade bit, one of these things. I've drilled a 14 millimeter hole in the top of this. And what then happens is you can put it on and use it as a sprinkle pot. So that's on the pole. And then you can just tip small amounts of bait out in there. Okay, so this is great for particle baits and so on, just, just tipping small amounts in at a time. And as I say, in this case, I've taken the lid off. Having said that, if you want a dedicated sprinkle pot, just leave the hinge on and you can pop it backwards and forwards like that. Really simple and straightforward. So that gives you everything you need to know about how to make a really simple uh, pole pot from a Kinder Pot. But of course, you don't need to use a Kinder Pot. There's all sorts of things out there. Um, I just got some ones here. For example, top off a toothpaste tube. These two are um, bottles that you can buy in a reject store or a pound, pound store for a few pennies. I've even seen people use these. Okay, these are party poppers. So once you've popped it, all you do, take the label off, cut the bottom off, maybe tighten up the, uh, sorry, tidy up the, the top here by just slicing that off. But again, you've got a very similar sort of a shaped item, maybe a little bit smaller. Yes, there's a hole in the bottom, but by the time you've got your holes through the side and that's sitting on your pole section, not going to make any difference. So hopefully that's just a few ideas for you on how to make a, a really cheap, really simple or possibly even free pole pot. Hope it works for you and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, as always, click the like button. If you want to subscribe, you can do that too. And until the next time, bye for now.